when the Jets are on the clock, and by getting on the clock with a shocking trade. Who do you think they have made this trade for? Is it Sanchez <laughs> sitting in Los Angeles? Is it Crabtree <laughs> sitting in the green room? I think the only way you can make this trade and give away what they're about to give away is for the quarterback. It's got to be Mark Sanchez. Well, is. Sanchez is excited is. in his home. It's a big he move. He was in New York last night and flew home. It appears he's about to get a return flight to New York in a hurry. Perhaps Air Johnson is about to go. Okay, Jeff Ayers. Cleveland traded the fifth pick to the New York Jets. And with the fifth pick in the 2009 NFL Draft, the New York Jets select Mark Sanchez. Quarterback, USC. Mark Sanchez was ranked as the second best quarterback of the 2009 NFL Draft, right behind Matthew Stafford. With that, the New York Jets would trade up to draft Sanchez. He would be the first quarterback selected by the New York Jets in the first round since Chad Pennington was drafted 18th overall in 2000. Sanchez would originally be listed as the second string QB in training camp behind Kellen Clemens. Jets head coach Rex Ryan wanted both quarterbacks to compete for the starter job. Eventually, Mark Sanchez would win that and be named the starter for the New York Jets. So far, have to get to the 20. He's going for the big ball. He's got Stucky! Touchdown, New York Jets! Mark Sanchez would lead the New York Jets to an 8-7 and regular season. With that, they were good enough for the playoffs, a pan in the 2009 wildcard round facing the Cincinnati Bengals. In that game, Mark Sanchez would almost be perfect, a QBR of 139.4 as he went 12 for 15 passing, a total of 182 passing yards to his name with one touchdown and no interceptions as the New York Jets would take down the Cincinnati Bengals, eliminating them in a 24-14 win. That win would make Mark Sanchez the fourth rookie quarterback in NFL history to win a playoff game. With that, the New York Jets are now on to the divisional round where they would face the heavily favored San Diego Chargers. One of the most craziest games in AFC history would ensue. The New York Jets would win in nail-biting fashion by just a field goal, 17-14. Mark Sanchez has now brought the New York Jets to the AFC Conference Championship, their first appearance in that game since the late 1990s. At this point, Mark Sanchez is the hottest name in NFL headlines. He just won his first two career playoff games, and he's only a rookie. The test was now on, though, for Mark Sanchez. He's now in the AFC Championship game, one win away from a Super Bowl appearance. With that, he's facing the Indianapolis Colts and Peyton Manning, who's in the middle of his prime. Sanchez would struggle and the Jets' defense would crumble. A blowout loss of 30-17, to the season is now ended, but Mark Sanchez had one of the best rookie seasons that a New York Jet quarterback has ever had. Now it's 2010. The New York Jets just went 12-5 in the regular season, led by Mark Sanchez. Once again, though, they would have to get through via the wild card, but they're facing revenge now right from the get-go. Going up against the Indianapolis Colts at Indianapolis, squaring up once again against the prime of Peyton Manning. A game that was dominated by the defense from both sides would see the New York Jets come down to the wire, kicking the winning field goal to win and advance 17-16. Next up on the New York Jets schedule was the AFC Divisional Round. It was the Battle of the AFC East, as it was the New York Jets led by Mark Sanchez, the second-year quarterback, going up against the greatest of greats, Tom Brady and the New England Patriots at Fox Borwell. To win this game against the heavily favored Super Bowl contenders, Mark Sanchez had to play perfect football, and that's what he did. Throwing three touchdown passes, Mark Sanchez would pull off one of the greatest upsets in NFL playoff history, taking down the mighty New England Patriots at New England 28-21, moving once again onto the AFC Conference Championship game. Ben Waffensborger vs. Mark Sanchez. It's the AFC Conference Championship game. Once again, Mark Sanchez has brought the New York Jets to being just one win away from a Super Bowl appearance. 
Despite that, though, the New York Jets would have a total force half collapse as the Pittsburgh Steelers scored 24 points, outscoring the New York Jets 24-3 going into halftime. Mark Sanchez and the New York Jets offense would have a very big spark in the second half, not to mention a shutout defense, but the first half lead was just too big. New York was not able to complete a comeback, losing 24-3 and once again missing out on a Super Bowl opportunity. Mark Sanchez would be crowned as the Sanchez, according to New York Jet fans, due to his overall playoff success, and he would also be named team captain of the New York Jets prior to the 2011 season. That is all she wrote, though, for Mark Sanchez, as he had an 8-8 eight eight season followed by a 6-9 season in 2012, accompanied by a shoulder injury in August of 2013 that placed him on the injury reserve. The New York Jets would then release Mark Sanchez in March of 2014, signing veteran quarterback Michael Vick the same day. In Mark Sanchez's time with the New York Jets, he brought them to a 33-29 win-loss record, throwing 68 touchdowns to 69 interceptions. In six playoff games, he went 4-2, leading the New York Jets to two straight AFC Conference Championships, both of which, though, he lost. Nevertheless, though, Mark Sanchez would go down to be one of the best quarterbacks in New York Jets franchise history, especially when it came to the playoffs. Mark Sanchez will forever be known in New York as the Sanchez.